Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Always Compete Seahawks podcast. I am Sam. That is Mike. And today, we have a fun video planned. Uh, we're be- or not necessarily a fun video. I don't want to say that. A dark video. A pretty dark video because uh, I believe it was a, I believe it was like on a Wednesday or something on a pretty forgettable day in this weird time in our lives. Um, we got news that Tamari and Tony was getting released from the Seahawks. He was an undrafted free agent. He was kind of like our prized undrafted free agent this offseason. Like him and Kate Johnson were like the two yeah. top. Well, he's got so much yeah. potential. He's very skilled. Yeah. He's uh, super athletic. Could be next DK. That's what people are saying. Mm-hmm. Guy was uh, had a one beastly season at Florida State. And even Corbin Smith and uh, Bob Condota were all like, this is – really interesting i don't know why they would cut him it's Mm -hmm. doesn't make much doesn't make it didn't it really made no sense to anyone meanwhile for me i was like if he deserved to get cut he deserved to get yeah you know i mean if he if he sucks he sucks you know it's Mm -hmm. like it's kind of how it goes but turns out (laughs) funny thing (laughs) you should mention the next this this is our this this our fun video that we have planned yeah. Quote from CBS Sports NCAA football. Um, quote, former Florida State wide receiver Tamari and Tony has been indicted on felony murder charges stemming from a 2018 mass shooting at a nightclub in Georgia, according to the Miami Herald. The incident killed uh, eight people. And um, this is from three years ago. So I, there's just so many questions and there's not enough answers. There's a like, lot of questions. The first question is why? 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 At that time, he was kind of a like a like a pretty. He was probably popular. like freshman or sophomore. Was, I would he imagine was probably a sophomore. I think. Yeah, probably a sophomore. No, he was a freshman actually, because 2018 was the year that he went off, and that was his freshman year. Yeah, and this yeah, is yeah. pre that season because he went off in 2018. This is June, so they were like practicing, and he's like, "I'm just gonna go." Well, yeah, and even if he was nobody, whatever, like. Dude, what are you doing? You play for Florida State. That's like a at that time that 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 team was like considered one of the best. Yeah. in the country. And like, why are you messing around and doing that type of stuff, killing people? Like, cut it out, bro. Like, Obviously, you sound that's... like you sound like an un- <laughs> you sound like an unenthusiastic like stepdad. But <laughs> you can't be out there selling these drugs. It's just not good. It's you can't not be good out here killing these people, man. It just you can't <laughs> do it. Obviously, listen, I don't kid. know. Listen, kiddo. Listen. You better be careful next time. No more killing. All right. Or else I'm gonna or else I'm gonna take away your phone for an hour. You do the finger point. Yeah. I'm gonna see you later, champ. All right. <laughs> see you later. Uh, no, but mom's like, making nuggets tonight. Yeah. Get to the flip side. Yeah. <laughs> Some crazy white dead shit. Yeah. Um, I, I like I don't know the situation. It's kind of weird. The, my other question is, if this happened in 2018, how the hell is everybody just figuring this out? june late june of 2021 like what took three years for that for nobody to find out because from what i gathered nobody knew the draft process seahawks obviously didn't know right the florida state obviously didn't know so what how where did this information just get lost and then how did it just resurface in 2021 i'm not saying it shouldn't have resurfaced i would like to know if he's a killer or not but i'm saying what took what took three years like okay so I have a big quote here that I'm going to read from the article, CBS Sports article. And uh, let me read it. Quote, basically it boils down to, this is a quote from a uh, Richard Purvis from the Ashburn police where the incident took place. Quote, basically it boils down to they're wearing one color, this other gang is wearing another color. They're in technical terms or a street language, they're beefing. Uh, but, it, but it put all these other people in danger. The Miami Herald reports that Terry's one of 11 people who have been indicted in the incident that occurred after Terry's uh, registered season. One of those, one of those individuals, John Tavius Coley, was arrested shortly after the shooting, while nine more were indicted alongside with Terry. The promoter of the event was also arrested and charged with providing alcohol to minors at the time of the shooting. Wow. So it, it's a very dark subject. It's a very I, sad yeah, subject. I when I got the notification and when you texted me, I was like, what? Like I like I didn't process it at first. I was like, Dude, I'm noticing a troubling trend that the Seahawks are great at hiring players that commit crimes. Yeah, like they don't know about the crime, like Quentin Dunbar last year. Quentin Dunbar. <laughs> uh, I remember recently, that. Recently, alone, there's been Alden Smith. Well, I, we don't Alden know if he's Smith. committed. We, we don't know if he's. We don't know if he committed a crime. He got arrested. 
Yeah, but he just he, got he apparently beat up somebody because they were like spitting on his pregnant sister. So Which, I don't know. Innocent until proven guilty, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess same thing with Tamar and yeah, Terry. Yeah, it's kind of different when you're looking through it at the lens of murder. Didn't Brendan um, Browner do something too? Brendan Browner's in prison as we speak. Yeah, yeah, isn't he in prison? Yeah, he's in prison on like robbery charges or something. Yeah, it's, it's really fucked up. Uh, like, Brandon, what is going on, bro? Josh Gordon? No, uh, uh it's a little yeah, different. That's different. Yeah, yeah, Josh yeah, Gordon was different. addicted. You know, it's not. That's that's a different subject. I will. Yeah, I won't he's in that. prison until no, he won't be eligible for parole until November 2023 on counts of attempted murder and child what? cruelty. Yeah. Oh my god! Uh, How do so, all these bad people join the Seahawks with Russell Will? They're not. Listen. They're not going to Russell Wilson's Bible study. That's why. Yeah. They're missing Bible study with Russell Wilson. Well, Russ doesn't do Bible study after he got with Sierra. <laughs> now we're just champagne, mate. <laughs> uh, I would just, I would love to like walk into Russell Wilson's house for Bible study and it's sunglasses on. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> He's like super throwing it in yeah. <laughs> Kids are in bed. You turn up DK, yeah. DK, DK shirtless in the corner. You're like, dude, what? What is this? Yeah. Russ like, hey, Tyler, Tyler Lockett Russ, Russ is walks in, he's like, Bible. Tyler Lockett's actually reading a Bible. Yeah, like, no, he's no, he's he's reading it like poetry, and then you see Russ, he's like, you about to get pregnant again, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Russ, 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 like a kind of a, a wannabe fuck boy sometimes. I feel like. Yeah. Yeah, but we're, we're going to move on from this whole dark subject. Yeah. And we're instead going to talk about his replacements because we have not, right. as of the time of this recording, which is for me on the East Coast, Monday, July 5th, 1026 p.m. And for me, 926 p.m. As of I'm the time of this recording, time. we have not signed anybody to replace him. Assuming we're going to re-sign a wide receiver, let's take a look at a couple of the potential guys who could replace his spot on the team. Because frankly, going to be honest here, I expected him to make the team as the fifth wide receiver. We both did. We both expected him to make the yeah. roster. Yeah. J- j- just because of the overall potential. So now it's like a question of do you go out and do you sign like a do you, do you sign like a potential player? Do you like what what do you do? You know, I, it's kind of we did bring I'm, in we did bring though. in a good amount of undrafted wide receivers. My guess would be that we would just have one of those guys make the roster. Um, yeah. I, I mean, think, I, mean, I think now Kay Johnson is like almost guaranteed to make the roster hundred percent. Yeah. Guaranteed. I mean, I mean, but like, what if he, but we need to bring in somebody even just to replace him on the spot of the team. Right. And right. I, and I, I realized something really interesting just now that one guy who has been in the news recently and has previously played for the Seahawks, Josh okay. Gordon just put in his reinstatement. Oh Yeah. And That's actually a very good point. What if Josh Gordon kind of fits the mold of having a super high ceiling? So, like, what if we were to say, okay, listen, Josh Gordon, minimum deal. He's he's living in Seattle, I believe, at this moment. Yeah, and, and that's the other thing is, like, from what I've heard, he he, he loved being on, C- on the Seahawks. I'm sure he yeah. loved it. Obviously, he had issues with the reinstate with you know getting suspended and yeah, he, his addiction he and all that. Got reinstated, and then I believe he had another issue. He had a hiccup or something. But like that. from what I've read, he's passed all of his anonymous yeah, drug been, tests. He's been clean for like a couple months. Right, That's what which I've is read. very good. Obviously, just as for a person, I yeah. wish him the best, and I'm happy I mean, for that. Personally, I've always kind of like Jeff Gordon as a person. Yeah, I understand kind of where he's at. And yeah, kind of yeah. Addiction, with. addiction is is terrible. Yeah. So, um, I mean, but, like, Josh Gordon seems to make a lot of sense. I mean, you can't replace him with a guy like, like, looking at free agency, you can't replace him with Golden Tate because Tamar and Terry's build is something that you're going to need to replace specifically. And, I and Josh like Gordon's Tate, a big dude. Josh Gordon, big, big. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Josh Gordon's a big dude. I saw a stat. Josh Gordon has the record for most yards through, like, five, for like, four games in NFL history. He, and he like, did it with Brandon Whedon as his quarterback. Yeah, he had like 700 yards in four games. I, like I, I think Josh Gordon is one of the biggest what-ifs in NFL history. I think yeah. if that guy could have stayed clean, he would have been so good. But I wasn't even thinking about the Josh Gordon thing. Yeah, and it just dawned on me too. You're Something absolutely that we could correct. really do that would like just be a punch to the nuts for a division rival. Oh, my dog just came in. Can you pause it real quick? Yeah. Hooper. I, I just I, I'm thinking about it right now. Larry Fitzgerald is a free agent. 
that would be awesome if we could sign Larry Fitzgerald. I know he's past his prime, but it would be it would be hilarious. Think about the Cardinals fans. Think about how many angry Cardinals fans they would be. Just like Larry. Larry. (laughs) Larry. I'm not saying that it's logical. He's not that good anymore, frankly. It, we just we just have a habit of just stealing players. The, like the laughs, the imagine the comedy that would come out of signing Larry Fitzgerald to the Seahawks. I mean, it's not the worst thing we could do, I suppose. I like Josh Gordon more. Personally. Yeah, Josh Gordon, hundred percent more. Yeah, and I love Larry Fitzgerald, but. Dude's slow as shit. Yeah. And yeah. we going to need a little speed. Yeah, he's very slow now. He's... Can you imagine, dude, jet sweep with Larry Fitzgerald? Oh, God. <laughs> We'd get a delay of game. Russ would, like, put him in motion. Larry be jogging. He's like, come on. Five. Delay of game. Four, <laughs> three, delay of game. two. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. That's, that's a little I mean, delay of Fitz. But, but, I mean, I think that's going to kind of wrap it up. Tomorrow, yeah. Terry, very sad story. Chances are his football career is is ruined. He killed his career before he even started. Uh, which sucks. But yeah. Josh Gordon, kind of the punctuation of this video, Josh Gordon makes perfect sense to bring back to this to the to the team. He fits the build that Tamar Terry had. High potential. Yeah. Likely low high cost. Ceiling, he likes high in ceiling. Seattle. Yeah. Right. I, I'm loving it. I'm loving the idea of signing Josh Gordon. Let us know in the comments whether do you think, you know. Do you think that we should stick with Kay Johnson and sign another position, which is totally a logical answer as well. And um, just let us know what you think. As always, uh, like, subscribe, hit that bell to be notified yep. about all our videos and uh, subscribe to this podcast where you get your podcast to guarantee that you'll get notified on your phone whenever we drop a podcast. So uh, we appreciate y'all for watching. See you next time. Peace, Peace. out.